Hey everybody, it's Brian, and today is our eighth Qt video with C++. Um, today we're going to be going over layouts and how to do them via code. Uh, but what you see before you is the minimal application, the very bare bones that we've been working with. Uh, include Qt application, we have our main function, and we're just doing a very basic application loop here. Alright, now moving right along, first thing we need to do is include and we'll say, whoops, I hit the wrong button here, sorry about that. Q push button. And let's do uh, include Q hbox. Whoops. hbox layout. And let's actually include. I cannot type today, wow. Q vbox layout. Now, what is QHbox layout and QVbox layout? Well, yeah, as you might have guessed, HBox layout is a layout, but it's horizontal, and VBox layout is vertical. And we'll show you these here in just a second. First, we got a bit of coding to do. One thing about layouts is they are not technically widgets, so you can't show them on the screen. Uh, so what we need to do is create a Q widget, and we'll call it window equal new Q widget and this is what we're going to end up showing here so we'll say uh, window uh, I forgot my pointer that would probably be helpful now when you run this all you're going to get is a very big window because it's got no layout, no controls on it, no nothing. It's just your basic widget. So Qt just shows it in the most obnoxiously large size it can possibly think of. Now let's actually add set window title. This is how you change the title of the window. Just kind of goofing around here. All right, let's get down to business. We're going to make a few push buttons here. So we'll say Q push button, button one, equal new, Q push button. And we're going to give it just the text of uh, one. Let's make a couple of these. Let's actually make three of them real quick. Through the magic of copy and paste, we can make three of them very quickly. All right, two and three. And let's change the text accordingly here. All right, now that we have our buttons out in memory, uh, we need to put them in a layout and then assign the layout to the widget. So let's go Q, HBox layout. We're going to do a horizontal layout, and we'll call this uh, H layout. And I always forget my pointer too. And this is a new cute HBox layout. Now to add those buttons onto this layout, you say layout, add widget, and we're going to say button one. And through, you guessed it, the magic of copy and paste. I should probably indent those correctly. Not that it really matters with C++, I just like to be neat. We'll add those to the layout, and then we will say uh, window, set layout, and assign our layout. Now, quick review before we run this. We are including the correct code, and then we are starting our application loop. And what we are doing in the initialization of that loop is we're creating a widget, calling it window, setting the title, creating three buttons, creating a layout, adding the buttons to the layout, setting the windows layout to the layout memory. Sounds complex, but you get it. Compile run, and that is our horizontal layout. Automatically adds them in. And if you add buttons, it'll just keep going and going and going. And when you resize this, you notice how you cannot resize any smaller, but you can resize bigger. Let me actually drag that so you can see the buttons 
expand and that goes with the size policy and size hint of the buttons. All right, now that's the horizontal layout. Let's do a vertical layout. So let's go uh, Q, oops, V box layout. We'll call this V layout. And as you've probably already guessed what I'm going to do here, um, Qt is a very intuitive framework and it's very, very easy to work with. Let's just comment that out so you can see what's going on here. And I'm just going to run and compile it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, as you might have guessed, what it does is it puts it vertically. So once again, this is Brian, and we've covered um, layouts. We covered the horizontal and vertical, and how to add them onto a form, and how to add items into the layout. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.